Hi guys, so this is going to be part 3 of the uh, reflex installation videos. Yesterday I bent this piece of plywood and the goal for today is rather simple. I need to apply the first coat of paint. That looks pretty nice. Okay, for a brief period of time I considered actually varnishing this instead of painting it because I thought the, the grain of the wood here and, and this curve would, would look really nice. Um, I said, and I did a small test on a piece of scrap of this plywood and sadly the outer veneer of this uh, then varnish doesn't even come close to matching the color of the mahogany over there. Um, so I'm just gonna stick with painting it and uh, lesson learned. <laughs> I bought my next boat. Um, whenever doing something fancy like this, make sure that the outer veneer of the plywood matches the color of the existing trim. I'm gonna remove this piece and paint it separately before glassing it in. That way I'm absolutely certain that the edge here between the mahogany and the white painted uh, plywood is gonna be a really nice sharp edge. Okay, the surface of uh, this plywood is um, is nice enough that I don't need to sand it before painting, but um, I am going to wipe it down with some uh, grease remover. Um, I'm going to be using the exact same paint I've been using on all of the uh, plywood of the interior of the boat. It's Hempel's Multi-Coat and it's the White 10,000. This kind of paint actually seems to be mixed uh, pretty well already. Uh, I guess the credit goes to the Danish Postal Service. <laughs> okay, I found out this winter while painting all of the plywood for the interior of the book that uh, this paint um, actually doesn't mind being applied in a pretty thick layer. As you've probably figured out, um, I do enjoy working with my hands very much, but that isn't my full-time occupation. Uh, for the past 10 years I've been a software developer and I've been a project manager. Uh, and that means whenever I want to do fun DIY projects, whether it's about the boat or if it's back home, I often end up doing uh, quite a bit of trial and error before succeeding. And to some extent the same is true uh, in regards to the nice piece of uh, curved plywood that I want to put on the outside of the pedestal. Now before uh, attempting the, uh, the larger piece, I did this small prototype. And this is manufactured in the exact same way uh, that I did the, the larger piece. And this actually turned out to be pretty damn durable. And I think there's a there's a pretty good chance that uh, that this is gonna outlast the boat. Okay, I'm back aboard the boat to put on the second coat of paint. Uh, before doing that, I'm just gonna knock down any high spots using some 120 grit sandpaper, and then I'm gonna wipe the surface with some grease remover. I don't know if this is going to show up on the video, but I thought I'd just mention it. Uh, I haven't cleaned up the uh, area down below in the boat uh, after removing this uh, piece of the bunk here. And that means that the cabin sole is pretty much littered with the sawdust right now. But I'm not too worried, uh, worried about that, because even if some dust particles should settle in the paint, uh, I still have about four or five coats to apply. And for sure, before doing the last two coats, I am going to do a thorough job of cleaning the entire boat down below. That way I'm absolutely certain that I'm going to get the finish that I want. <laughs> 